Welcome to U.S. Defense Line Channel. A bitter confession came from Russia. Now is the time to face the problems. In Moscow, betrayals are one after another. Critical claims were made from unexpected names. Course of the war becomes critical. Flames rose in Russia. Smoke and flames covered the area. With its successful progress, Ukraine is subjecting Russia to great defeats. But Moscow's only concern is not its failures on the fronts. At the same time, it has to face big problems within the country. One of the biggest problems is the decrease in the support countries. He already had quite a few supporters, and they can withdraw his support at any time. Critical warnings were given to Iran, one of Russia's rare supporters. NATO Secretary General Jen Stoltenberg stated that Iran has recently been seen providing military aid to Russia, and this is absolutely unacceptable. He then added that no country should help Russia and that many countries would welcome the issue of sanctions against Iran. This warning from NATO may cause the end of Iran's support for Russia. Countries that have good relations with Russia have previously withdrawn their support from Moscow for fear of sanctions. If Iran were to withdraw its support from Russia altogether, Moscow would begin to suffer serious military equipment shortages. This could completely change the course of the war. Because Russia, which has a shortage of military equipment, will decrease its success rate on the fronts as both its offensive power and defense power decrease over time. This will become a great opportunity for the Ukrainian army. In these days when the war has become quite critical, various aids to be sent by countries have become more important. Every promise of aid given must be kept as soon as possible if Ukraine is to succeed. Every day, news of betrayal is heard from names close to Putin. In the past days, critical information has spread from Putin's close circle to countries such as the United States. This information included claims that the Russian leader might be criticized among senior commanders for his excessive involvement in the war. In fact, it was noteworthy that many commanders were dismissed one after another and that names close to Putin were appointed instead. Another name close to Putin, even the Chechen leader Katie Rov, has drawn attention with his criticism towards Russia, stating that Russia's moves against the Ukrainian troops on the fronts have been weak in recent days. According to breaking news, Russian mercenaries are also very angry with Putin. Allegedly, Yevgeny Prigazin, owner of the Russian mercenary company Wagner Group, made remarkable statements. Reports spread that Prigazin had harsh reactions to Russian President Putin. Allegedly, Prigazin stated that Putin mismanaged the war and made mistakes on the fronts. It is also thought that the inability of his soldiers to reach sufficient equipment may have angered this name. But Prigazin did not accept these spreading claims. After the developments, a remarkable confession came from Russian President Putin. It is clear that every step taken on the Moscow side must be taken even more carefully. Otherwise, as the mistakes made in the military field become more visible, the confusion between the army and the administration in the country will increase. If Russia does not want to be alone, it must not repeat its mistakes. Putin accepted the problems with his remarkable statements. Russia's recent economic and military difficulties were visible. It was even spoken all over the world that the country was in a tactical and operational stalemate. Putin's statements were also proof of this situation. With his statements, the Russian leader admitted that they are facing problems in the war in Ukraine. He also called on his team to speed up the decision-making process during the conflict. If such problems, which Moscow now accepts, are not resolved, the Russian army will have to face defeat. At the same time, according to the breaking news, explosion sounds echoed in the Kolpinsky region of Russia. According to the statements, flames broke out in a warehouse covering 6,000 square meters in the region. Then it was reported that this area increased to 12,000 square meters. Smoke rise is in the area. Operations on the fronts continue at full speed. On the last day, the Ukrainian defense forces announced that the Russian forces repelled their attacks in 11 places in the Donetsk Oblast, including Nevelsk, Marinka, Solder. Ukrainian planes also attacked an area where Russian forces, weapons and military equipment are concentrated. Successes achieved in each region in Donetsk are very important for both sides.
Ukrainian troops have recently been doing everything to maintain their superiority in these areas on the Eastern Front. Ukraine's rocket and artillery units, on the other hand, have hit two ammunition depots, three Russian command centers, six points where the Russian forces, weapons and military equipment are located, and five more critical military targets as a result of critical moves after hundreds of firings so far. Anti-aircraft missile unit of the Ukrainian forces also announced that it shot down a Russian Ka-52 combat helicopter in the Kherson Oblast. In these days when such successes are very critical, Russia's operational power is gradually being reduced with every military equipment destroyed. This makes it very difficult to achieve success. It was announced that the Russian forces tried to maintain control in the regions they previously controlled and to keep the Ukrainian forces behind on some fronts. Russian forces are also reported to continue to work to advance on the Bakhmut and Avdiivka fronts. It was announced that Russian forces carried out one missile attack on Ukraine and 11 attacks with multiple launch rocket systems during the day. General Staff of the Ukrainian Armed Forces continues to announce the latest losses of the Russian forces as a result of all these moves. Ukrainian forces destroyed seven unmanned aerial vehicles, 12 artillery systems, 17 tanks, and 30 armored combat vehicles of Russian forces in one day. Such military equipment is of great importance during a war. Each of these gear becomes even more critical to gain an advantage both on land and in the air. Head of the Office of the President of Ukraine, Andriy Yermak, held a phone call with Jacob Sullivan, the National Security Advisor to the United States Prime Minister, with Emmanuel Bonn, the Diplomatic Advisor to the French President, and Sir Timothy Barrow, the National Security Advisor to the British Prime Minister. Yermak explained that during the meeting, information was given about the situation on the fronts and Russia's attacks on Ukrainian territory with missiles and Iranian-made kamikaze drones. It was also stated that the Russian forces urgently needed air defense equipment of Ukraine for missile attacks. Importance of the air defense systems, which have been sent one after another recently, in the war is seen more clearly with the ability to prevent the attacks of the Russian forces. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky also made important statements. Zelensky explained that Israel's cooperation with Israel on the provision of information on Iranian-made unmanned aerial vehicles began a few days ago. According to Israeli data, it was announced that Ukraine has confirmed that Russia has used over 400 Iranian-made drones against Ukraine. Zelensky also stated that they are at the beginning of cooperation with Israel and that this is a positive move for Israel. He also revealed that he is grateful for this. Israel had previously aroused curiosity by abstaining. Importance of countries in the war is also becoming more and more critical. Russia has recently been using Iranian-made shattered 136 kamikaze drones extensively to attack Ukraine. Russia uses these drones under the name Jaren. Iran has repeatedly denied providing weapons to Russia in this regard, but the White House believes Iran is not telling the truth. Ukraine shared parts from the destroyed Iranian-made shattered 136 drone. After being used extensively in Ukraine, the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Ukraine, Mitro Kuliba, presented the proposal to the President Volodymyr Zelensky to terminate diplomatic relations with Iran. During his visit to Washington, Israeli President Isaac Herzog will share information proving that Russia is using Iranian-made drones on Ukrainian soil to United States President Joe Biden. In the past days, information has been shared that Iran will deliver missiles this time along with unmanned aerial vehicles. It seems that Iran's implicit aid will continue. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky also made statements about Russia. At a press conference with the President of the Republic of Guinea-Bissau, Zelensky conveyed that Russia wants to build bridges with the President of Guinea-Bissau. After that, Zelensky announced that he showed the President of the Republic of Guinea-Bissau what was going on in Ukraine. Effect of the war on the war will be seen more clearly in the following days. Now months have passed since the war. It has become much more important that neither side make mistakes. In time, the course of the war will become clear with the steps taken. We'll see what happens in the next few days. We have reached the end of another video. You can support us by liking the video. You can easily follow new videos by subscribing. I wish you all a war-free day. See you.